Так, свернул. Так, ага, да, и сюда. Добрый вечер. Звідки вы? Откуда вы? Меня чути добре, бачити добре. Can you hear me well and see me? Good. So today I will try analyze online. Okay, probably not till the end because it will be too late. But okay, at the moment I see. Uh, Mamidyarov playing with white against Nepomneshchi. So, quite sharp opening. So, d4, knight f6, c4, e6, Nimtso Indian defense. Popular variation, very sharp variation. Castle, e4. And other possibilities for white here. Knight f3 is possible. c5, d takes c5, knight a6. Or a3. Bishop takes c3, queen takes c3. Okay, but uh, e4 played Shahriyar uh, Mamidyaru. d5, e5, knight e4. This is theory. Bishop d3, c5. Knight f3. What is this? Knight d7, bishop f4, this is theory as well. Queen h4, it was played. Queen h5, castle. But, but now, according to my memory, usually black plays bishop takes c3, b takes c3, g5. And for example, this, this, e6, this, 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 this. This is theoretical line. But uh, Jan Nepomniši played uh, g5 immediately. For me, it's okay. I don't know if it's novelty, but after c takes d5, black can take on c3 and play same line. If uh, b takes c5, if, but uh, it looks like Jan Nepomniši prepared another idea. He took suddenly with knight. I have never seen he, uh, this uh, move order. D takes e6 was reaction of Shahriyar. B takes e3 looks like alternative. So if B takes e3, probably black wants to take and take with knight. But position looks like double edged. Music down. Uh, what you mean, music down? Uh, sound? Uh, improve sound or what? Which music you mean?
Ah, uh, improve sound, okay. So now is better. What about now? I put sound in maximum. Is it better now? Please confirm it. Okay. It's, so probably here it's quite good for black. Uh, okay. Uh, I am sure that uh, at least Jan Nippon Yeshi are in his preparation because he chose rare line with knight uh, takes c3 instead of uh, us usual bishop takes c3. Okay. So b takes c3. C3, uh, uh, sorry, d takes e6 uh, was choice of Shahriyar. G takes f4, e takes d7, bishop takes d7, b takes c3, rook a c8. So this position. Ah, f takes g3 was played before. After e takes d7, he took on g3 firstly. H takes g3, bishop takes d7. So we have this position in the board. And Shahriyar is sinking in this position. I'm thinking as well now. So what white should do here? Very natural looks uh, bishop f5. So if bishop takes c3, I have bishop takes d7. Although I am not sure that this is advantage. So this, 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 this. Maybe it is just draw. some problem with sound but uh, uh, okay uh, I put sound on the maximum I don't know how I can improve sound hello Ah, good and clear. Okay, so here it looks like just a draw because white cannot protect his pawn e5, so they can uh, take on e5, uh, uh, on b7, and black will take on e5, and after king g2 position is drawish. So bishop f5 is logical, but it looks like uh, this is enough only for draw. Hardly black can pretend for more than draw because if rook takes c3 white has queen e4 with quite a pleasant position e6 uh, uh, proposition e6 e here hmm. oh where well, ah uh, or, or you mean uh, e6 uh, in another moment so after bishop f5 this, 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 this. Yes, now e6 is possible, but uh, white has some problem with f2 pawn after just take and king h8. So I don't think that white has winning chances here. So queen e5 is threat somehow. 
Okay, King G2 is possible, but King G2 is is uh, King G2 immediately. Uh -huh. Uh huh. Maybe it's interesting. If Queen takes E5, Rook H1. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, maybe White has some chances. Yes, I like King G2. Yes, now it's probably also I can take rook h1, queen d5, check. If f3, f5. Rook H5, so still Dominguez. Okay, we will uh, look all of the games, but uh, I cannot do all of them uh, simultaneously. Okay, so. Uh, he is thinking of oh, ah, queen d1 he played, so he didn't play bishop f5. So bishop f5 was an uh, interesting alternative, uh, but he played queen d1. Instead of rook h1, okay, uh, uh, instead of rook h1, uh, bishop b7 here. It's possible, but uh, white has no direct threats. And black can play uh, rook b8, for example. Okay, I understand that rook takes b7 is not threat. So white has rook h1. Maybe even here position is more pleasant for white. But okay, I, uh, mm, I cannot be believe that there is serious chances. For example, if I play this, okay, rook h1, h6, rook h4, yes, it's maybe not easy draw because, because black has some problem with his king. Okay, so bishop f5 was a very serious alternative, I don't know, uh, but for sure uh, uh, Jan Nepomnish is still uh, in in preparation probably he analyzed this line uh, uh, very deeply and uh, he probably he knows uh, concrete way for draw how black can can do draw in, in this line but okay bishop f5 was possible but uh, queen d1 was choice of shahriyar right a queen d1, he took on d1, rook a d1, bishop takes c3. Okay, very natural reaction, and now, now again, bishop f5 looks like uh, the most attractive move for white, but uh, okay, bishop f5, I expect this is very natural move. So if bishop takes f5, knight takes f5, black has no time uh, to, uh, to take on e5, and uh, white will play f4 in next move, and probably this position is more pleasant for white, although rook c5, f4, f6, necessary to calculate, but this is dangerous. And for example, I see f4, f6, rook d7, this, this, and again, black cannot take on e5 because knight h6 is coming. Okay, what else uh, after bishop f5 black can do? 
So if bishop takes d4, bishop takes d7. Rook c4 only move and now e6 looks uh, uh, extremely unpleasant for black and not so easy to understand how black can stop uh, the pawn because they cannot take if bishop f6 just rook e1 is coming so it looks like still theory okay maybe still theory but uh, I don't know or I don't remember you'll be correct okay if you Uh, after bishop f5, rook fd8, uh, yes, but uh, if I take and knight f5, is it still slightly better for white? Oh, this draw, maybe draw this, this, maybe. Ah, but now I can take and rook c1, probably. And black in some trouble. Sorry, bishop f5, rook c5. Rook c5? Oh, no. Rook c5 is not possible. Ah, rook c4. Ah, rook c4. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, uh, thank you. But uh, but uh, okay, can you explain me what is the problem with bishop f5? That's so my first uh, idea was bishop f5 maybe. So well, according my according to my brief analyze, it was like a promising line for white, but probably. There is uh, there are some tricks uh, which uh, I don't see I don't know maybe just rook f d eight or what is it possible aha bishop f five is playing but 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 now queen d one is possible the same idea. And if this, this, if this, 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 and knight f5, which I demonstrated. Okay, so it's, uh, we are following quite deep preparation, it looks like. Ah, so he played rook c4, bishop takes d7. Mm -hmm. So, queen d Ah, so without so bishop f5 probably strong uh, okay but surely it is uh, co very complicated so uh, take 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 and rook c4 this this and uh, it looks like they can agree for draw already so I don't see serious resources to to fight in this position. Okay, so now we can see another game. Dominguez Firuzja. Okay, I will put in my board. So Sicilian e4 c5 Nidor variation famous line, which was played in Swidler Topalo in Candidates Tournament 2005. Also in St. Louis, but another St. Louis. It was uh, Argentinian St. Louis, not American. Black can play without knight f3 check, but uh, if not play force in line, uh, black is suffering somehow. Good example game between Rustam Kasimjanov and Vishy Anand. 
So in A5, very concrete line is G takes F3. So Switler played Queen takes F3, Bishop takes his King D1, something like that. Bishop takes b2 and somewhere knight c2 was played but ah uh, probably not not in uh, not in this position maybe queen a4 firstly and now something like this ah yes yes this was Swidler to power So bishop takes b2 immediately, probably there is some problem, but uh, I don't see which one. So for some reason he played queen a4 check to Palov, so but uh, now I'm trying to understand why not take on b2 immediately. It's not easy question. Uh, queen takes f3 is possible. Uh, uh, Swidler played. Swidler lost, but not uh, because of opening. So this is more or less bar on that position, the king d7. But uh, why not bishop takes b2? So probably there is tactical refutation but but I don't see immediately how to play I remember it was queen a4 but but why I don't know okay so it's uh, better to check again game between Swidler and Topalo and other games uh, which was played in this line. So G takes F3, at least uh, more rare line than Queen takes F3. Okay, Black has no choice. Queen D2 only move because if King D2, Knight D4 is coming. To... Well, uh, this position White has three pieces, but uh, Queen B5, and Queen B1, and probably White cannot avoid perpetual check. Okay, so Queen D2, this Knight D1, Queen D4, very natural reaction. Also, probably. Ron Castle can be considered as well, like alternative, but uh, I think both are in preparation. So queen d4, bishop d3, knight e5. Tactical trick, so white cannot win the queen after bishop b5 or bishop g6. Okay, bishop b5 is just blunder if bishop g6, king e7, simply possible. After queen takes d4, knight takes f3 check and knight takes d4. So, so after knight e5, he played uh, bishop takes e5. Also, quite natural looks bishop e2 here. It's like quite natural move in this position. Now queen is hanging, so black should exchange queens or go to c5 I don't know what uh, Firuzja was planning to play here but anyway bishop e2 looks like logical okay probably this this knight g6 white cannot take on d6 because rook d8 or long castle black is prepared for knight f4. What about bishop e4? Good question. Probably. Ah, sorry. After bishop e4, queen takes e4 is possible. 
and knight f3 check and then exchange and uh, white has four pawns, black has six pawns, so okay. more or less equal endgame in my opinion. Also, alterna uh, looks like alternative queen takes d2, knight c4 check, and d5 may be also possible. Bishop g6, for example, or bishop d3. It's another complicated, but I think queen takes e4 is strong. Uh, eliminate to bishop's advantage. Okay, so bishop e2 and bishop e4 were alternatives, but uh, Lenier took on e5, queen takes e5, king f1, castle, castle, not so obvious, okay, castle, king g, so we have this position, first question is rook takes f3, of course, with idea, queen d5 check, bishop e4 is impossible, so in next move, Black will take rook, but uh, the problem after rook takes f3, white has bishop h7 check. And this position is uh, far from clear, also. This, this black has only two pawns for the piece, but. Uh, G4, where G4? Where G4? Ah, ah, he played uh, Bishop E2 here. He didn't play. Ah, he didn't play. Uh, King g2, but he played bishop e2. It's strange somehow. King g2 looks like natural move. Ah, uh, you mean here g4? Is it possible? But it's strange, okay, I can take and I can play this, I can play this, and black has no perpetual check. And okay, but black has uh, three pawns. Ah, black has three pawns. Queen c4 check, queen e2, this endgame probably drawish, for example. Mm -hmm. But Lanier played bishop e2, looks less natural, so probably he wanted to avoid rook takes f3 because uh, Without uh, rook takes f3, king g2 looks like uh, much more natural than bishop e2. But okay, so he played bishop e2 and... So he protected uh, f3 pawn and he wants to push h4. Thanks for subscription for everybody who likes my channel. Okay, very interesting position. So black uh, needs to think uh, about stopping h4. So rook f4 can be considered. The title of stream is wrong. What is wrong? Sinkfield uh, Cup? What I did wrong, can you tell me? 
A, name. Aha, sorry, sorry. It's uh, not by purpose. Uh, so I will write sync q f Sorry, very sorry. I will improve this. Okay, so um, queen f4 maybe. Of course, uh, black would be happy uh, to exchange queens in this position, but white uh, will try to avoid this. So if uh, queen f4, for example, I would respect, uh, I would uh, expect uh, some move like knight e3, probably queen d3 is also possible as well. So. Very sharp and interesting position. Okay, let's see another games. How do we see? So watch here playing us. So who is free today when Sliso is free today? Was here playing against Neiman. Okay, let's see. So knight f3, d5, g3. Knight f6, bishop g2, c5. Castle mount. g6 played Neiman. Knight c6 is a uh, natural move, but after knight c6, white can play d4, and this is Grunfeld with extra tempo, or this is just one variation of Catalan. And now white has choice between knight e5 is possible here, also possible uh, queen a4. Another theoretical line also possible. D takes C5. This, this, this. And now both is possible. Knight BD2 or Knight FD2. I played Knight FD2 against Adams, for example. Okay, but uh, Neiman played G6. Also possible. If Italian. Ой, пока не знаю, куда я там. Пока что в онлайне я играю. Буду играть. Один турнир на час 24, а другой турнир на час ком. Вживую пока не знаю, к сожалению. Так, G6, D4. So this is theory, bishop g7, c4, castle, this, this. It's a theoretical position. Knight b3 played uh, was here. Mm, knight b3 also I played against Emil Sutovsky. And Emil Sutovsky played e6 in this position. I played knight c3, he, he took on c3. He took on c3, something like that. I remember also was possible to play knight c6 with good, with, with good compensation if white is taking the pawn. So surely Emil Sutovsky played e6. I remember. It was classical tournament. Golden classic. Because uh, enjoyment games was planned. Uh, theory also knight b5 is possible, but after knight b5, bishop e6 and black is totally okay. Knight b5 doesn't bring any advantage. Knight c3 is possible. It's another theoretical line. Knight takes c3, d takes c3. 
different possibilities. Queen c7 is possible, knight c6 is possible. Okay, knight b3, so uh, instead of theoretical line e6, Neiman played knight b4. This is novelty for me. Okay, we'll see. So e6 is theoretical. Oh, idea of knight b3, of course, is that uh, white is preventing bishop e6. So after knight b5, bishop e6 was good. Now after knight b3, bishop e6 is obviously bad because white has knight c5. So, okay, e6 was normal, but he played knight b4. Knight c3 natural, knight c6 is natural. Now... Played bishop d2. A3 looks like very natural, but probably he afraid something concrete, like queen takes d1, rook takes d1, knight c2. If rook b1, black has knight takes a3. Who is this? White has compensation after knight c5, but probably it is enough only for equality of holes. Okay. So it was possible, but uh, he didn't play. So he played bishop d2, solid move. Not so active, but solid. So idea is obvious he wants to play a3 and not allow knight c2 so bishop f5 bishop c2 is threat so rook c1 is obvious that line rook c8 a3 a3 knight a6 bishop a6 so it looks like uh, White piece is um, situated a little bit better than black ones, especially knight on a6. So bishop e6, queen c2. So knight b4 doesn't work because uh, after takes, takes white has queen e4 and black cannot take the piece back. So. This tactic doesn't work. White is preparing that for rook fb1. After bishop takes c3, it's necessary to check, but but probably white can take this queen. Not afraid anything because uh, if uh, knight. Uh, but not sure. Uh, knight b8, for example. White is losing the piece suddenly. If knight c5, uh, black can take and play b6. So, queen e5, probably bishop takes b3, and probably rook takes c8, queen takes c8, bishop h6, but f6. So, okay, position is very far from clear. For example, queen e3 is possible. I'm attacking the bishop. If uh, bishop f7, for example, I can take. I can take here. Like queen b6. Of course, this variation is, uh, is not forcing. Uh, after bishop takes c3, White can also take this pawn, maybe. And to reach uh, pawn structure from the game Carlsen Niemann, but in better version for White than Carlsen had. But it's also possible White has two bishops. Knight b4 is coming. Okay. 
Okay, so it's an interesting moment. So bishop takes c3 is a very concrete try, and if play bishop c3, it requires very long calculation and also correct assessment type of position after b takes c3. If not take on c3, what black can do? Because if black not doing anything special, white has clear plan, rook fd1, knight d4, and uh, okay, maybe it's not a big, uh, not such a big advantage, but it's uh, it's unpleasant to play. Bishop f5 also is possible. Ah, he played bishop f5. Ah, uh, problem with sound, right? Okay, I need to sit. Ah, so he played bishop f5, and now if white plays uh, queen d1, bishop e6, he wants uh, this draw. But okay, white can play bishop e4. If take, take with queen. And rook fd1 is coming and it looks... What about sound now? Is it okay? Hello? Can somebody confirm that everything is okay? Okay, good. So bishop e4 and takes on e4. Still looks like more pleasant for white. Because rook fd1 is coming. Okay, but maybe it's, it is not too much. Black already exchanged bishops. So, for example, e6, uh, rook fd1, queen e7. It's possible. Maybe white is only slightly better after rook c2, for example, to prepare knight d5. Okay, what are alternatives? Queen d2. Queen d2? Queen d2, black can take probably, and rook fd8 somehow. So, thanks for subscription. Okay, and last game, e4, where e4? Yes, he played bishop e4. So, b maybe even it's possible to take with knight, I don't know. Well, let's check. Because knight d4, I'm not sure. Queen takes c8, knight takes e2 check, king g2, queen takes c8, rook takes, rook takes. Black has quite strange knight on e2, but uh, okay, rook e1, so rook c2 is only move, but uh, knight d2. For example, knight d4 looks like only move. This endgame looks like more pleasant for white. So maybe even it's possible to take with knight. Well, okay, it looks like risky, of course. Ah, he played queen d7, by the way, he didn't take. Creative move. So normal move was take. Okay, and uh, knight takes, okay, probably knight takes e4 is possible, but it looks like risky, but maybe it's possible. I don't know. If knight d4 doesn't work. No. 
white or black e4 or e5 no 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 in this position usually pawn is better on e2 and e7 or e3 and e6 so e5 to close okay maybe it was possible but Neiman played queen d7 surprisingly for me so what he wants after rook fd1 it's not so obvious queen d7 strange move for me so queen e6 Okay, let's check. So queen e6, uh, I don't see alternatives because if uh, take on uh, e4, queen takes e4, looks like uh, unpleasant for black. Yes, rook fd1 he played, so now uh, Neiman will explain what he wants. So is it all? game we consider it ah Caruana Aronian also okay okay so rook fd1 and uh, queen e6 uh, I'm expecting but but queen s6 bishop takes f5 and black has unpleasant choice to take with queen uh, white can take and rook d7 is coming if to take with pawn, okay, so black has a weak pawn f5, so queen e6, yes, he played. But uh, I don't like uh, this decision because uh, now black has weaknesses of uh, his structure. White can play even simply knight d4, exchange some pieces and utilize okay maybe nothing special but uh, more pleasant to play with okay we can also try to consider concrete variation knight e4 black wants knight d5 also it's possible if knight e4 queen takes c8 is my idea Yes, he took on f5. Of course, after g takes f5, knight d4 is not only move. Probably white has another opportunities in this position. But uh, black has uh, somewhere uh, knight b4 threat. Uh, I don't know. Uh, also, after which moves, yes, g takes. For example, Okay, it's a stupid move, of course, but uh, I want to just illustrate that black has this idea. And uh, then take on b3. Of course, h4 is... Uh, well, white can easily prevent this. Uh, even rook d2 is possible, for example, here. Now knight b4 doesn't work because... White has uh, d1 square for his uh, queen. Okay, but uh, so knight d4 is possible, very natural move. What else? Mm. Knight d5. <laughs> it's a brave decision, but maybe. Uh, not strong. Uh, my idea was uh, if knight d4, queen takes c8, but probably black can just play this. And, uh, after knight f4, queen e4, and now white has problem with uh, b2 pawn. No, knight d5 is hardly a good idea. So, so knight d4 is very natural. What else? Rook d5 doesn't work because bishop takes c3, of course. Rook d2, it's possible. Maybe not so stupid move. To prepare queen d1. Oh, 
Oh, if uh, if rook d8 to play this and take with rook. The problem for black is that if knight e5, always knight d4 is coming. Okay, so is it everything okay with walls, uh, with voice and with uh, video? Okay, Maxim is thinking. Now we can consider game uh, between Caruana Aronian. Thank you. So e4. Aha, it's deep end game already. e4, e5, knight f3, knight anti Berlin, c3, d5 immediately. So, idea of d5 is that uh, uh, if uh, knight takes e5, black has castle. If knight takes c6, b takes c6, bishop takes c6, bishop takes f2 is extremely unpleasant. This is point of this variation. Knight g4 check. Uh, it's a question about uh, Neiman. Okay, I cannot uh, tell anything because... Uh, because I don't see many games of uh, Hans Niemann and uh, for me anyway it's difficult uh, to understand if uh, if it was help of computer or not but um, but it looks like uh, Carlson just played bad this game especially opening part of this game so he made the novelty and after several moves he already was in very inferior position so also a little bit strange for me so i'm uh, sorry i'm not ready to to answer for your question uh, okay so i explained that why knight takes e5 okay knight takes e5 is possible there is theory of course so this this d4 is main move a lot of theory but well so after d5 he played something else he takes d5 Okay, maybe a bit. okay. If uh, I would have my clear opinion, I uh, I'm not afraid to express this, but I have no. I played against uh, Neiman uh, in one of chesscom tournaments, the ten minutes tournament. Ten minutes or three plus one? I'm not sure. Maybe three plus one. Maybe it was titled Tuesday. I remember it was Hedge Hawk structure. I was black. And endgame was. Uh, and uh, game ended with draw. Knight e7 variation. Uh, uh, immediately or after a6 because it's not same uh, it's it's possible to play immediately knight e7 also possible to play after a6 played knight e7 so i don't know which uh, variation exactly you mean okay but let's see what uh, uh, doing our heroes so d5 
takes d5, queen takes d5, bishop c4, queen d6. Uh, I am fine, thank you. So b4, bishop b6, a4, castle. Okay, so if a5, uh, e4 is coming, uh, as I understand, so must be some theory, which unfortunately I don't know. Okay, so knight bd2, bishop f5. Now if a5, black can take and take this strong initiative. Okay, I have seen already such uh, bishop a3, e4, so uh, bishop takes d3, b5 is coming. So e4 he played. I have feeling that I have seen this position already. So this is not new, this also I have seen, but I never analyzed this. Rook c8, uh, so Caruana played with white, right? Ah, Caruana with white, Aronian with black. Rook c8, natural move, so knight takes b4 is threat. So bishop d5. I think uh, all of this move uh, already was played. So <laughs> probably they are still in preparation. Rook, rook, bishop e6. So black is uh, pawn up. If I will play, I will play two online tournaments: Chesscom Global and uh, also Magnus tournament in Chess Twenty Four. So Chesscom Global starts, for me, starts from 17th of uh, September. I will play against Ray Robson for games match. And uh, Magnus Tournament starts next day, 18th of September. So Bishop B4, okay. Black is pawn up, but white has uh, very active pieces. So they want to play A5. Somewhere rook d7 is possible. I don't know also why not rook d7 immediately. So he played bishop b4. So what is problem with rook d7 immediately? Okay, maybe just uh, no special threat. So black can take play something like f6 and okay. So bishop b4 probably. Uh, still in preparation, he wants uh, to play a5 and then rook d7. Aronian played a5, so takes. Takes. And rook takes e5. So now. I will play a lot, in, but ah, uh, several games Magnus played Sicilian against me. He played Sveshnikov, and, and uh, yes, he played Sveshnikov against me. Ah, uh, also he played Nidorf against me. So against him I played directly Knight f3, d4. But okay, one day I also can consider a lot. In. Okay, so. This, this, bishop c7, rook c5, rook d8. Again, black has pawn up, but uh, pawn a6 is weak. h5, king d8. 
qui seria Ah, quem que seria? O que é que quem se tu? So, Fabi é grifo draw, but Aranyan faz draw tifo. So, now Black is playing for win. At least uh, Black uh, avoid uh, move repetition after the GA. Okay, so this is quite a long to uh, theory. I don't know where uh, theoretical preparation was finished for both of players. Okay, let's come back. Uh, what is ah, ah, knight c5 immediately. Why not king e4 was question. Okay, knight c5 immediately played Neiman. So I consider it bishop takes d4 and knight c5, but he played... Uh, Knight c5 immediately, but this is question if it's uh, there is some difference because white can play knight d5 anyway after knight uh, c5 immediately. Okay, so it was question why not king e4? Let's see, uh, king e4. Why not? Yes, very natural move. Maybe bishop g1? With the idea of d4 check. Well, okay, it's very far from clear. White has bishop d6 and then c5 is coming. It's not obvious. So king e4, bishop c3 is also possible, but maybe bishop d6 is possible as well. Okay, so bishop c3 is possible, or bishop d6 is possible. I don't know what is better. But okay, it's very sharp because black has contraplay. Rook d6 even proposition. Rook d6. Okay, maybe rook d6, but after rook d6, even rook b8 is possible. So, so okay, very sharp and game so. Difficult to say, it's uh, it require uh, after bishop c3, uh, a6 is uh, weak, but uh, but well, uh, mm -hmm. g2 pawn is weak as well, for example, after check, if king d5, rook e2, it's necessary to calculate, black wants to take on g2 and Okay, let's come back to another game. So, uh, knight, C, uh, knight d4 played Washier against Neiman. Ah, rook d6 after rook b8, bishop c3. Okay, but uh, in that case, rook b3 is coming. It's unclear. Black will try to attack g2 pawn in some moment. Okay, so where is knight f3? It is gay. Sorry, not this. Ah, e6, sorry, not, not before any promote variation. Again, I need to promote Bishop D2. It's 
So this, this, knight d4, this, this, knight c5. I consider that bishop takes d4, rook takes d4, knight c5, and now knight d5 was interesting uh, in my opinion. Idea if uh, if black uh, playing something somewhere with knight, uh, I want to take on c8. This was my idea. Also, I'm not uh, completely sure that it works. For example, knight b3, queen takes, rook takes, rook takes, black has king g7, and now both of my rooks uh, are hanging, so probably I'm just losing material. So knight d5 is just a mistake, probably. Also here. Okay, so it was questioned that knight d4 was best. Uh, rook d2, I consider it like serious alternative. But okay, so knight d4 takes, takes. Okay, after takes, takes, uh, knight c5, probably white has something else. So knight d5 is just blunder because knight b3. And also here, after knight c5, knight d5 is blunder because black has same idea. What about sound and video? Is it... Well, so what to do after knight c5? So we have this position in the board. So black has concrete, concrete threat, uh, he wants to take on d4 and play queen b3, uh, and play knight b3. Of course white is... Uh, white can con rook e1, not rook e1. Strange. Okay, bishop takes g7, looks very natural, but uh, rook e1, but what is the idea? Rook e1, okay, knight e4 is, okay, rook e1, rook fd8, rook e1 is uh, not natural move, but what is natural also? We can consider queen d2 possibility, this idea to activate queen. If knight b3, queen g5 check. If queen g6, queen takes e7 is my idea. It is this. But uh, I'm not totally sure is it is correct. White has pawn against exchange. Uh, it's a good structure, but okay, it's uh, not obvious who is better here. Okay, so if not queen d2, what else? Apparently black has no special threats, because if knight e4, white has queen d3. So, okay, ah, rook d4, knight b3. But maybe rook d5 is possible. Yes, rook d5. Is interesting. If knight e4, my idea was queen d3. But queen b6. Suddenly, if rook takes f5, queen takes b2 is coming. Ah, but uh, yes, rook takes f5 with queen b2, rook b1 I have. 
and it is good for me because Black King is quite weak. Ah, Rook D5 he played. Ah, okay. So Rook D5, Knight E4, and now Queen D3, the most natural move. Queen b3 is, but after queen b3, e2 pawn is hanging in some variation. So, uh, so queen d3, I expect. So, queen b6, rook, b, uh, rook f5. Queen takes b2, rook b1, it's important. Okay, so black still suffers. But maybe queen f6 is possible, however. And black has threat e6. Rook d7 never possible because knight c5. Queen d3, okay, but now queen f6 is interesting. Black has contraplay. E6 is suddenly unpleasant threat for white. Well, so I need to, 10 minutes break. I need to drink some tea.
So I'm here again. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, now I came back. Yes, so yes, I read check. Uh, uh, I read cha chat. Yes, thank you. So is it everything okay? OBS. I don't know what is OBS. Okay, so what is going on? Ah, uh, Queen F6 wasn't played. So Neiman played Rook C6. So my proposition was Queen F6, and uh, looks like logical one, but uh, but. Uh, Neiman played. I don't know what uh, what he. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I need to, what he doesn't uh, didn't like after Queen F6. Queen F6. Ah, uh, sorry. I need to use another board. But he played Rook C6. Rook C6 also possible. Oh, so. Frankly speaking, I don't like knight d4, so in my opinion, rook d2 was the best choice for white. Try to keep more pieces on the board and try to improve control on d line. And maybe white is slightly better here. But okay, he played knight d4, also bishop d4 he could consider. Because, for example, after knight d4, he played knight c5 immediately without taking. After bishop d4, he cannot uh, to play knight c5 immediately, he should take. Also, I don't know if uh, there is serious difference, for example, if I have advantage here. Dominguez, okay, and we will come back to Dominguez. So now, a very similar position, but the king on g8 and black has knight d5. I explained it already, so it doesn't work. b5, in which moment b5? This looks like very draw position. Okay, maybe, maybe because because knight e4 is coming if rook c d1. I mean, strange variation. However, it's possible this, and now rook d. Knight d6, I can take and play rook d7, and now probably white is better because uh, black has a very bad pawn structure. Of course, this is not forcing light, but oh, black can play knight c5 and then come back to e4. No, but in, the, in that case, rook d5 with knight e4, queen d3. Black has a weak pawn f5, so white has some chances, probably. Okay, maybe Maxim afraid bishop h6? I don't know. But I'm not sure, is it? It's really strong, but okay, it's not obvious question because bishop on d4 is strange after e3, rook fd8, for example, it's 
not so clear what to do with white because bishop on d4 and also knight on b3 it's strange somehow b5 okay b5 it's rook fd8 for me more natural move b5 i don't know and hardly good but maybe forcing who knows uh, before it's coming uh -huh. and if knight c5 knight takes sorry knight c5 knight d4 knight e6 knight c2 knight f8 knight e3 and what is this Is it fine for black? It looks like. Yes, maybe it's it's possible before it's coming. So I'm still thinking that rook d2 was the best choice in this position. But okay, so he played uh, knight d4, he took uh, without, it's, it's important. So takes, takes, takes. Here a strange moment, queen f6 in my opinion was quite good alternative, but okay, his choice is logical as well. Important that white never have uh, rook d7. Ah, rook. but maybe white has rook d7. Ah, rook d7, knight d6. No. And the rook is trapped. Not knight c5. Ah, maybe knight c5 is possible as well, because after queen d4, black can play f6 if rook d5, knight d3. So rook d7 is blunder. But also because of knight d6. Okay, so so suddenly pin is very unpleasant. Ah, but what is problem with uh, f3, however? Why not play f3? Looks like black should take on c3. I don't see alternative. So knight c3, rook takes c3, why not? Looks like good for white. Yes. So why he didn't play f3? It's a big question. Okay, probably he could, could consider something like this and rook d6 with the idea queen e3 check and some initiative. But after knight f6, uh, also rook d4 is possible. It's quite a pleasant position. For white and then rook cd1 is coming knight is passive already on f6 so very strange moment so f3 very difficult to believe that uh, maxim didn't see sorry rook d6 rook g6 and queen f5 in which moment Ah, rook, okay, rook c6, uh, rook fc8 is idea, but okay, in my opinion, uh, queen f6 was the best move, and uh, black is totally fine, because uh, white cannot uh, uh, protect uh, in go good way against uh, 
knight uh, takes c3. For example, if rook d4, knight c5 is coming and knight b3. White is losing exchange. So, so queen f6, in my opinion, was excellent move, and uh, knight takes c3 is coming. Yes. No, not with f4, but with knight takes c3 and or, or e6 in some moment. But after rook c6, it's very strange that Maxim didn't play f3, so natural move. And so, what he afraid? I have no idea. It looks like white has very pleasant position, okay. Of course, black can play something like knight d6, but... Rook c2 after queen f6, queen f6, rook c2, but okay, rook c2, okay, I can take, so if e6 you, okay, I can play simply e6 probably, rook d4, rook d7 not possible because knight c5, so rook d4 is only both rook d8, looks like drawish somehow well, for example takes takes ah but now probably knight takes e4 and this rook end game maybe let's draw White cannot win in this position. Yes, rook c2 is possible, but it looks like black has enough resources for draw. But uh, after rook c6, f3, okay. I would evaluate this position like better for white. Okay, question how much better after knight d6, but... Um, Better pawn structure, safer king somehow. So knight d6, okay. Probably he afraid that knight c4 somewhere is coming, but is it really strong? Okay, how to play? Rook d1, I'm not so sure about knight c4. Maybe. Maybe not so clear, but... Uh, anyway, it looks like white should be slightly better here. Maybe even king f2 is possible. Ah, king f2, queen h6. Okay, maybe not so clear, maybe. Maybe knight d6 was the reason of... But well, uh, queen d4 check I can play. With idea to prepare... Okay, depends what black is doing. If f6, my idea to play rook c5 probably. Exchange the rooks. And attack a7 pawn. Of course, immediately I cannot take on a7 because rook takes c3. But after rook c5. 
Well, but okay, not clear black can do something like this. And if queen takes a6, queen b3 probably. And if, for example, this, 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 knight f7. Queen e3 only move, and but now white is suffering from the pin. Black can just take on a3. Of course, this line is so probably knight d6 was the reason. To, because uh, if not knight d6, uh, everything rest is fine for white. Maybe knight d6 is in clear position. So knight on d6 is good somewhere. Black has idea knight c4. Okay, so he played uh, uh, after rook c6, rook d1. Didn't play f3, so he played rook d1. Takes, takes, rook c8, c4. Rook takes c4. So c4 was this. So this point. So what is point of c4? It's very deep. Was if rook takes f5, black wants takes on c4, but uh, on c3. But after c4, so okay, c4. But what is the reason of c4? Very deep decision for me. Strange. Because uh, if after c4, rook c4, rook f5, anyway, black can play rook c3 if they want to play rook c3. But uh, the question if rook c3 is a good move. So. Ah, but maybe if rook takes f5, rook d6, he wanted to afraid. Ah, maybe this is the reason. And after rook g5, king h6, and uh, or king f6, king f6 even. Yes, king f6 is, is possible. King h6 maybe was wrong, although I'm not sure about. Maybe even king h6 is possible. Maybe this is not made. Ah, or well, this is my h4. This is the mate. This, 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 this. Yes, but okay. It's not force in line. Uh -huh. So now I understand why he played c4. So, so if I immediately take on e5, rook d6, and if rook g5, king f6 is strong. And after rook d5, uh, black just taking and taking on c3. And, and rook d7, this, this is draw. Mm -hmm. So, Maxim still playing for win, so he played c4. This idea, if rook takes c4, rook takes f5. No, black has several moves. Maybe even f6 is possible to avoid checks. If rook h5, queen e4 is coming. Looks like drawish. 
White has uh, safe a king, but uh, black pieces are active, so I don't think that white can create serious threats. Well, ah, many moves already was played. He played queen e4 immediately. So he played queen e4 immediately. So takes, takes rook d7. Okay, maybe f6 was uh, even more accurate. d6 he played. d3, a5 he played. Rook and okay, but uh, of course it's drawish, but uh, slightly better for white. For example, just king g2 is possible to play if rook c3, a4, and just play slowly h4. So Probably, probably f6 was better for black. Okay, I cannot tell that much better, but white is better. But uh, objectively, black has some contraplay and rook f6. For example, if rook g4, rook g6. Takes, 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 rook a2 or rook c4 is easy draw. So. But anyway, I don't like queen e4, so if I would, uh, I, if I would black, I would play f6 in this position because uh, I like uh, coordination between black pieces. So. Now I want to play rook c3 or rook c7. So queen e4 I will play only after rook h5. Also I have idea rook c5 probably exchange this active rook. So black is also rook c1 somewhere it's possible to consider. So black, uh, 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 so this is uh, illustration. Uh, that black is not woes at all, but uh, Niemann started to play uh, very passively and uh, after several uh, not highest quality moves he is in some trouble. Um, after f6 I think um, at least black is not wolves here. So f6 I will put for myself explanation mark. I am proud that I propose such a good move instead of black isn't black not pawn up uh, it's uh, uh, same number of pawn but uh, anyway black cannot be both in my opinion. Well, so Niemann is suffering. Mamediaro draw. Uh, Dominguez Firuzja. Ah, Dominguez Firuzja. Many things was happened. So I see queen on h6. Uh, okay, pleasant position for Dominguez, but. Uh, Yes, black king is weak, so Firuja is suffering, looks like. Okay, let's see what happened from the, the start. So e4, c5. Ah, uh, queen takes f3, g takes f3, he took. 
one more if you want. Ah, sorry. Not king to go. Queen d2, rook d2. Bishop e2, rook a8, yes, uh, it was also my idea to play rook c8, h4, queen f4, or, or immediately rook f4, or immediately queen f4, okay, his choice was rook c8, not so obvious, h4, rook f4, queen d7, queen d3, uh, Another question, why not take on g5? Probably rook d4 he was afraid. Probably yes. So... Queen d3? Well, we have this position, then here is sinking. Mm, looks better for white, but uh, it's question how much better. No, queen takes h4 is the most natural move. Well, so what else? Karoana Aronian. Rook on a7. Pawn on a6. Very likely we can see rook and bishop against rook if, for example, white will win bishop against a pawn and black will exchange g2 against h4. So it can be very long game. At the moment, king g6 looks like logical. If a6, bishop g1. Game of Aronia. Well, what else? Vashir. So Vashir slowly improving his position. Ah, but this is draw. Uh, even without a4 pawn, this is theoretical draw. Very easy draw. It's strange that uh, with such a pawns, uh, double pawns, even more easy to defend. So if image that uh, black is playing, for example, Instead of a3, rook b1, rook takes a3, rook b8, it's uh, theoretically easy draw. But okay, of course, uh, no, black can give this pawn in any moment. It's not necessary. Rook g1, h6, rook takes g2, ah, you mean Aronian? Uh, just a moment. Rook g1, rook takes f7. Rook g2. Yes, maybe it's also possible. 
and Bishop G1 is coming. Yes. Yes. Rook G2, Rook G1 is possible. I didn't see this move, but it's possible and it looks like totally enough for draw. Yes, he played this. Should be draw. Maybe even black has some chances, however. Who knows? Difficult to believe, but but maybe. H3, H2 is coming somehow. Let's see on the board this interesting endgame. Maybe draw, but let's see. Let's see. So here, idea if King E1, Queen F6, double attack. So Queen F2 is threatened. It takes the sixes. If uh, King G1, same motif. If uh, King G3, Queen D6 check is possible. This is tactical shots. Okay, but so D5 takes D5 from a variation. C4, H5, King D3, aha, E5, H4, yes, Rook A6, Rook C4, King D3, Rook C1, Bishop C3, King A7, this, 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 Bishop G1. If rook f1, h3. And what is this? This a7, h2, and black is winning. So, okay, a7 is the most lateral takes, takes, and h3. And no. Rook a4 probably. If g5, rook a8. If g4, check and king. Looks like drop. Yes, maybe king f5, maybe black has some chances, but difficult to believe that king d5 and rook f8 is coming. 
H2 and C. And because now if bishop e5, rook d1, okay, maybe it like has winning chances. If bishop e1, king f4. Okay, but maybe uh, Find more precise way. Okay, maybe, maybe not so easy. Maybe Bishop D four. H2 rook G1. Now if G5, I have rook H1. And my king is ready to, to go quickly. So it's like drawish. So if G5, rook H1. Bishop E5 is threat, so G3 is this, G this. This check, but it's not enough. It's draw. But it, it, it's drawing temp to temp because if image that black could play king f5, king g3, king g4, it's winning for black. But uh, now it's draw because king e3 and king f3 is coming. So my proposition is uh, to, to play. Bishop D, uh, Bishop D4, and I think this is draw. I don't see what black can do because white king is ready to go quickly via C3 or C4 to D3. So. Should be draw, in my opinion. Oh, rook a4 is dubious. Uh, okay, maybe it's also enough for draw, but uh, bishop e5 he played. Ah, bishop e5, yes, it's possible. He played bishop e5, now if h2, of course, he will not take with bishop. Uh, this is losing, but rook takes g7 is immediately draw. Yes, he, he played this. Yes. Ah, okay, so bishop e5 is even better. Bravo, Fabiano. But bishop d4 was also enough. Okay. So draw. Uh, so how? So what left? Vashier uh, Niemand drawish and game. Yes, this is theoretical draw. So now black can simply give the pawn. Ah, he played king g8 even. I see. A uh, king g8, but uh, he could play rook b1 and rook b5 after e5 it's dead draw. Okay, so this is drawish. Uh, and uh, Dominguez Firuja only. Interesting game left. Oh, oh, oh I mean, all uh, game were interesting, but now it's. Uh, Result, it's not so clear. Other games. Uh... Okay, so white uh, can make draw if they want. So queen h7 check and queen c2. No, Firuzja has no chances to win. Queen h7 is possible. After king c6, queen c2 check. And black has nothing better than king b7. So. Russia has no chances for win, but 
but maybe Dominguez has no chances for win as well. So maybe they will make draw by move repetition. But we'll see. Maybe Dominguez will play this position. Knight e3 is possible, and then knight g4. How about okay? It's not obvious. It's playable, but not obvious. So now it's choice of white if they want. If they want to play for win or, or just repeat moves and draw. Okay, it's not uh, plan. Okay, so knight e3, knight g4. It looks like logical if I want, if white wants to have something. Knight e3, d5, knight g4. Ah, but the problem is that after knight g4, black has queen h8. And uh, white cannot uh, avoid exchange of queens because uh, mate on h1. Mm. Okay, I cannot prefer black because uh, white has the possibility to force draw. So white is strong now. At at least because they have draw, but uh, if white, yes, queen c2 he played, I think they will agree to draw. At least I'm expecting this. So, before go to sleep, So today all games finish it with draw. No decisive games, but okay. Several games were quite interesting. Yes. Firusha like me, okay, maybe. Yes. So Queen H seven it means that it's time to go to sleep. Thanks to everybody for your attention. So This round is finished. Yes. Okay, so good night.